Hello, hello. Welcome to, I'm going to try and get it right today, day 14 of lockdown here in New Zealand. Uh, I know over the last few days I've got it wrong, but I just don't do time very well. And of course, being in lockdown as well, I've totally lost track of, of days. As we know, time is an illusion anyway. It's only made up by um, humans. Um, so today I'm actually going to take you through a meditation where you can meet one of your spirit guides. So let's, let's say we're going to take you through a meditation to meet one of your main spirit guides. So it's not a guide for any particular reason, but it's a guide that is around you uh, most of the time, who is here to help guide you and help you uh, do you, what your spiritual work or your healing or whatever it is, uh, but for guidance and help. So I want you to just close your eyes, get yourself into that beautiful space of love, nothingness, and in that space of love and nothingness, there is actually everything that exists in creation. So we'll just do a quick, very quick heart breathing just to get you really into that space. So I want you to think of something in your life that you felt the most unconditional love and hold on to that feeling and breathe that feeling in. And out. Relaxing, releasing, relaxing, letting go. Breathing in again. Beautiful, unconditional love. See, it's a pink mist entering your entire being and breathing out. Relaxing, going deeper and deeper and deeper into a deeper sense of relaxation. And breathing in again, breathing in that beautiful, unconditional love. Feeling it go through the entire being, into every cell, into all bodies, out through your skin and into your energy field. So you're lying or sitting in a bubble of unconditional love. So let's go back into that space, that beautiful bubble of unconditional love beautiful pink mist that you are lying or sitting in. How beautiful is that? And in this space, there is just pure unconditional love. There is nothing else. There are no thoughts. Just pure love and pink. So we're gonna go deeper into this space now of pure love, going deeper and deeper and deeper. Until you go with your consciousness and your entire internal being into that zero point space of nothingness. In that space of nothingness, there literally is nothing. There is blackness. It's like you're floating in space. There are no thoughts, no images. It's pure nothingness. Just floating there in this beautiful space of freedom And in this space, your entire being feels lighter. There is no weight. Your body feels lighter, your physical body feels lighter. Just breathing in. Letting go, breathing in and letting go. 
letting go, just floating in nothingness. Going deeper and deeper into that space of pure bliss where nothing exists but at the same time everything in, in creation exists. It is empty, but it, it is full. So I want you to look ahead of you into nothingness and you can see that there is a golden white light. And as you go closer towards it, you can actually fly in this space through that nothingness, floating through there's nothing below, there's nothing above, and there's nothing all around you apart from in front of you. There is this beautiful light that you can see. And as you head towards it, as you get closer, you can see it is a door. And it is shining, this beautiful light. And you know that beyond this door, you will enter into another dimension, a dimension where your guides are. So as you get closer to the door, you can see it is glowing of a pure white light. You can see all around it, it literally is like a door frame with the door in the middle floating in space, but you can see there is light shining from it a beautiful light and it feels wonderful the energy that's coming from this doorway and you know that beyond this doorway is a very special place And some very special beings. So I want you to reach out with your light body, your astral form or your consciousness and hold the doorknob and just twist the doorknob and open and that light just beams out now but you're going to float into that light allowing yourself to float in and the light draws you in anyway because you've already managed to raise your frequency enough by being in that beautiful empty space that you were in to be able to go in to this light safely In fact, if you look down at your own body, you will see that you are not the physical body anymore. You are pure light yourself. This is your soul body, your light body. So as you are in this beautiful space, it is of pure white light. And just feel this beautiful space for a moment. It is part of the God source, part of the collective, part of the nebulae. So in front of you, you can see that some outlines of beings are starting to, it's almost like they're stepping forward out of the light. And you can see there is a big group of them. And these are all of your guides. And at the moment, because they haven't totally materialized in front of you, you can see that there are many 
shapes and sizes, tall, smaller, medium build, bigger build, bright light shining beings. There are many of them, too many to count. So while you're in this space, in your consciousness, I want you to communicate with this group and ask that one of your guides that is with you all the time to please come forward and allow you to see them. So as you can see, it actually is almost like the other guides step back as this one guide steps forward or floats forward. And to begin with, you're seeing them as pure white light, but they're in the shape of human form. And now ask them if they will materialize to either what they would have looked like if they had lived in a human form at some point in their existence to step forward and show you who they are and what they look like. And if they haven't lived in a human form, they might start showing themselves as pure energy, as another type of being, even as a power animal. There is no language barrier, no matter who they present themselves as. So I want you to just float in this space as they step forward and start to materialize. I want you to take note of how tall they are. What sort of build they have. Are they wearing clothes? Have they got shoes on? Are they appearing to you as human form with skin? What colour is their skin? What colour is their hair? Take note to see if you're starting to recognise who they could be. Now, ask them to show you more defined their facial features. What shaped face have they got? Whether they're male or female. What colour are their eyes? What shaped nose do they have? Are they wearing any particular jewellery or headwear? If they are male, do they have a beard? Do they have long or short hair? Allow them to materialise in whatever form they come through as. And they're coming through very quickly now. They're materialising very quickly and showing you what they look like. Now you can communicate with them, even if they've come through as an animal or as another type of being, you can still communicate with them. So ask them what their name is and allow the answer to come floating back to you. First thought, right thought. You might sense it as a thought, as a knowing, as words written, 
as a visual. You might hear them. And as they stand there before you, they also have a gift for you. And you can see as they reach out their palms open handed, facing upwards, there is a article of some sort in their hand. And they reach their arms out to you for you to take this gift. It is special to you. It is something to hold dear to your heart. So now I want you to thank them for coming forward. You have such gratitude and love for them and them for you. And they are now pushing the thought and the knowing towards you that they will be here at any time you wish to communicate with them. They will communicate with you telepathically through your intuition. They will give you guidance. You can ask them to give you signs, physical signs that are shown to you in the physical world but it is up to you to be fully aware so that you don't miss these signs because often they are very subtle. So they have one more message for you, which they will telepathically place into your mind now. It's now time for you to come back. Thank them for the gift, for showing themselves to you. And you feel that this connection has been such a wonderful, magical connection. You've finally been able to feel, see and sense what one of your main guides look like looks like. So now they are slowly stepping back into the collective of other guides, becoming pure energy again. And you are slowly floating backwards through that door. And as you float back through into that space of pure nothingness, the door closes and you start floating away from it until eventually it becomes like a pinprick dot in the distance and vanishes. And now you are back in that space of pure nothingness, but at the same time, everything in creation. So just bringing in that beautiful breath now of unconditional love and that pink mist. Breathing in a beautiful pink mist and breathing out. Breathing in again. 
And as you breathe in, you're feeling yourself coming back into your physical body because you've actually astral traveled with your light body, your astral form and your higher consciousness. And breathing out, breathing in again, breathing yourself back into your physical body and out, coming back into the physical, feeling yourself back into the physical, into the room where you're sat or lying down, breathing in that beautiful unconditional love, and out back into your body in full alignment and allowing your energy now to come down from your heart space down through your body through all your chakras down your legs down your shins into your ankles your feet and out of the bottoms of your feet down into the earth and anchoring your energy into the earth so you're fully back in and grounded fully aligned Keeping every memory of your guide who you've just met. What they look like, how tall they are, whether they're male or female, what build they had, whether they were wearing clothes or not. The colour of their eyes, their facial features. If they were a male, whether they had a beard or, or not, or hair whether they were wearing a headdress or jewellery, whether they had a power animal with them. Whatever you saw, you are holding on to that memory now. So as soon as you come back and you open your eyes, you can write this down so you won't forget. So opening your eyes, ringing your fingers and toes, coming back into the room, fully back into the room. Welcome back. So again, this is day 14 of lockdown. Please, please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Please share this video so other people can meet their guides or any of my videos, any of my posts on social media. They are for everyone to share and experience. So I am going to say lots and lots of love from me to you. Have a lovely evening. If you would like to see more of what I do, please go to my website, which is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Much love. Bye for now. Bye.